Lord, as we go into your word, we receive light and understanding. As we confess the word today, we receive inspiration, we receive um, revelation. Thank you. Thank you, Almighty. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Amen. Glory to God. We give God the praise. Thank you, Father. Now, today, the study, like I told you, God wants us to go through the redemption um, blessings, the redemption blessings throughout this month. So, each day, we'll be studying different things. All right. Today, the study focuses on prosperity. And this month, as we study these redemption blessings, I want you to um, note that um, because one of the things I'm seeing, I've seen in the devotional, I'm seeing there is that um, God is kind of laying foundations for all the simple things that we know and believe. We already know them, you know, but it's now kind of kind of laying the foundations properly, you know. So we should take heed to these things, and I believe the Lord will help you in the name of Jesus. So prosperity, and this is the first part. So all the Thursdays in June, we're going to be looking at prosperity. All right. And today we're focusing on the covenant blessing. Genesis in chapter 12, verse 1 to 3. Genesis chapter 12, verse 1 to 3. Now the Lord has said unto Abraham, Get thee out of thy country, and from thy kindred, and from thy father's house, unto a land that I will show thee. And I will make of thee a great nation, and I will bless thee, and I will make thy name great, and thou shalt be a blessing. And I'll bless them that bless thee, and curse him that cursed thee. And in thee shall all the families of the earth be blessed. All right. Then Genesis in chapter 27, um, verse 1 to 6, and then verse 33. And it came to pass that when Isaac was old, and his eyes were dim, so that he could not see, he called Esau, his elder son, and said unto him, My son, and he said unto him, Behold, here am I. And he said, Behold, now I am old, and know not the day of my death. Now therefore take, I pray thee, thy weapons, thy quiver and thy bow, and go out to the field, and take me some venison, and make me savory meat such as I love, and bring it to me, that I may eat, that my soul may bless thee before I die. Hallelujah. And here, Isaac said to Jacob, I mean to Esau, go and get me something, I want to bless you. Now, the same blessing that Abraham received, and, and it's important for us to understand covenant blessing. Covenant blessing is different from just somebody blessing you, benediction, pronouncing good words over you. Covenant blessing is different. Covenant blessing is something that is really spiritual and powerful. All right? And we need to understand that. In verse 33 of that Genesis 27, you know, um, this is a report after Jacob went in there, you know, Esau ate the savory meat and pronounced that blessing on Jacob, but it wasn't just a pronouncement. If it was just a pronouncement, it would just have released the same pronouncement on Esau when Esau came. But that pronouncement was the avenue for handing over covenant blessing. So there was a mantle that was handed over to Jacob. And when Esau came, Isaac had handed it over. And Isaac was so shocked when Esau told him that I'm your truth, and he found out that that was Esau. Look at verse 33. He said, And Isaac trembled very exceedingly, and said, Who? Where is he that has taken venison, and brought it to me, and have eaten of all before thou camest? And yea, and, and have blessed him, yea, and he shall be blessed. Can you see that? He said, And I have blessed him, and yea, he shall be blessed. Because I have already handed over that thing to him. What was that thing? The thing that Abraham had from God in Genesis chapter 12. I will bless thee. Uh, I will make you a blessing. Anyone that bless you will be blessed. Anyone that curse you will be cursed. God handed over something to Abraham. It was an empowerment. It was a, a special anointing that makes a person to prosper, to do well, to excel in whatever they do. Whatever they do prospers in their end, does well in their end, increases, multiplies. There is covenant blessing. And I tell you this, many of us believers, we are yet to start using our covenant blessing. Many of us. The Bible says in the book of Galatians, in chapter number uh, f uh, 3, we know that scripture, Galatians 3, verse 13 and 14, Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law. Be made the curse for us, for it is written, Cursed is everyone that hangeth on the tree, 
that the blessing of Abraham might come on the Gentiles through Jesus Christ. So God said the blessing will come upon you through Jesus Christ. So when you receive Jesus, you're supposed to have the blessing. Another thing that assures us that you have the blessing is that, that he might receive, that we might receive the promise of the Holy Spirit through faith. If you have the promise of the Holy Spirit through faith, then you have the blessing because you cannot have the Holy Spirit without the blessing. You get born again, the blessing is put upon you and because you have the blessing, you can get the Holy Ghost. I'll read this, uh, the devotional. Prosperity is one of the blessings that Jesus provided for his church in the redemption. It is clear that God wants us to have good success and the reward of good works. He wants us to have and enjoy the good things of life that he gives, uh, uh, gives us from time to time. It is also clear that it is not his will for any of his children to lack or remain poor. He delights in the prosperity of his servants. We are his children, but we are also his servants because we serve him. All right. The next thing to know about the redemption blessing of prosperity is that it is a prosperity that is based on covenant blessing not on just laws of success and hard work look there is the result there is prosperity that is based on works and laws of success there is that and i mean we see it all over the place i mean people in the world use that and and they are very rich and they are doing very well do you understand but covenant blessing is different covenant blessing is different and uh, this other one you know perishes it doesn't have eternal values covenant blessing has eternal values covenant blessing is a product all right the prosperity that we get through covenant blessing is different it's gotten through another thing entirely yes we we'll still apply hard works we still apply the laws of success but there's an extra grace that comes that helps you to get results that you will never get through hard work and laws of success all right so that doesn't mean that we don't operate laws of success at all or we don't work hard jesus said my father work at either do i work so we work you understand but we don't get result based on our work we don't get result based on our, we get result based on mercy we get result based on god's uh, decision to to just bless you and that's why covenant blessing is different when they were working in the house of labor they labored and labored and labored. The, the animals, the, their livestock business was there. Yeah, they were feeding and they, they were prosperous. But when Jacob landed in the house of labor, there was an increase that was unusual. Labor had to quickly go to diviners and ask, please, I'm seeing prosperity in my camp. What is behind this so I can maintain it? And they said, there's a young man in your camp. He has brought an, an unction. That unction is straight. That was the unction that Isaac passed to Jacob. He said that unction is strength, and that's why you are multiplying. And that's why when Jacob said, I want to go, he said, I found by divination. All right, the king just called it experience. But if you check the word there, the word there is divination. I found by divination that the reason for my prosperity is you. You are the reason for the multiplication. We have operated laws of success, we have operated hard work, we have results based on that. But this amazing result is because of something you brought into this business. And that was the help of God, the unction of God. What uh, 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 Moses in Deuteronomy chapter 8 verse 18 called the power to get wealth. Alright? So the, the, the products are different. There is prosperity that is based on natural laws of success and hard work. That God has set in motion on earth to reward hard work, to reward people applying themselves to laws and principles. God has set those things there. That's why if the wicked of the wicked, the most wicked person on earth, plants corn in the earth, that corn will grow. Why? There's a law of seed time and harvest. Once he plants it, that's to grow. Now, his harvest may not be like the harvest of the righteous person, but he must have harvest. Why? Because there's a law of seed time and harvest. It's a law that God has set in motion. It works for everybody. There are laws that work for whosoever. So that's why most people will say, eh, 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 so, so and so, they will mention one billionaire. He doesn't pay tight. He doesn't pay tight. And he's very rich. All of you that are paying tight. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, they don't understand the difference. They don't understand the difference. The Bible says, the blessing of the Lord, it make it rich. That's why we say, the blessing of the Lord is not a car. The blessing of the Lord is not a house. The blessing of the Lord is not a good wife. The blessing of the Lord is not a good husband. The blessing of the Lord is not a good job or a good business. No. 
the blessing of the Lord produces those things. Produces house, cars, and all those bless, all those things that we call blessing. The blessing of the Lord is an unction, is an empowerment. All right, the word bless means empower to prosper. So there's an empowerment that God puts on your life that makes whatever you do to prosper. You must believe for that. Jesus told us that laws of success, hard work will give you uh, uh, unrighteous mammon. Yes, it is in the scriptures. Jesus said, uh, he, he said, if you have not been faithful with unrighteous mammon, who will commit to you true riches? True riches is the blessing produced by covenant blessing. You get it? True riches is what is produced by covenant blessing. That one you believe God. God puts that unction. And then the unction makes whatever you do to prosper, to do well. Listen, many believers are still operating the laws of success, the laws of hard work. Are you getting what I'm saying? And the laws of success and hard work, listen, this is how it works. The laws of success and hard work will make you to succeed, you know, and all that. But you don't get the results like you want. The results may be big, the results may be small. You understand? It, it is not consistent. It doesn't matter how much you apply yourself. To, you know, success teachers have taught people, if you do this, if you do this, you, do, you get this kind of result. Yes, you see people do the exact the same thing. They grow up in the same house. They learn the same thing. But some will go very far. The others not go very far. Covenant blessing is not like that. When God puts covenant blessing on you, you are blessed. The covenant blessing is not based on, oh, who is the richest in the world? No, no, no. It has nothing to do with that. It has to do with God blessing you so abundantly that wherever you are, in whichever state or status you are, you are super, super, super blessed. Now, somebody may be richer than you, but in your own realm, in your own field, in your own uh, sphere of influence, you are super, super, super blessed. That's how it is. That's true riches. It's a product of covenant blessing. And then you know one thing that's very powerful? He said, the blessing of the Lord, it make it rich. So, riches is not the blessing. The blessing produces riches. Alright? Then he now says something. It make it rich and added no sorrow. The true riches, when you get true riches, you can't use it to womanize. I'm telling you. It is when you get unrighteous mama that you might be thinking of having a girlfriend uh, after you have you have married your wife all these years. Your wife has suffered with you now. You are not thinking of, of all kind of crazy uh, uh, things. You understand? Why? Because it is unrighteous mama. It stares the flesh. It stares carnality. It feeds carnality that is still there. That's why you see, they say that you don't know a person until you put a lot of money in the person's hand. That's when you will really know who that person is. The person that is behaving like is very humble now, by the time you put a lot of money in their hands, you will not see another man. Because there's a flesh in them, you know, sir, that is still there, that unrighteous mama will feed. But when God gives you true riches, it doesn't feed flesh. Flesh can never feed on true riches. It's strange, but that's how it works. You understand? That's how it works. True riches is a product of God's power. And when it comes, it doesn't fit. That's why he said it added no sorrow with it. You will not have addition of sickness, addition of this, addition of sorrow, addition of pain. No, 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 no. Why? It's true riches. Blessing based on the covenant. All right? Blessing based on the covenant. And I want you to covet this today. I have to stop. I want you to desire this with all your heart. He said the blessing of Abraham has come upon you because you are saved. <laughs> Hallelujah. All you need now is to activate it. How do you activate it? Believe what I'm saying. Believe what I'm saying. Start saying it. I, I activate the blessing of Abraham on my life. We have that confession in our confession. I am blessed with the blessing of Abraham. So I'm empowered to prosper. Money follows me and serves me as my slave. I am blessed with abundance of it. I'm blessed with opportunities, open doors in all the field. All that is part of the confession of the blessing. The covenant blessing that produces true riches. True riches is the one that has value here on earth and has value in heaven. Yes. When you have true riches, you will give. <laughs> You give, unrighteous mama, yes, you can give unrighteous mama too. You must have the heart of giving. But a lot of times, when unrighteous mama is there, people don't like to give. Yeah. When they do uh, charity stuff, they are doing charity stuff just for name. They are doing charity stuff just uh, to tie down one or two things here and there. You know, there's always one Indian agenda somewhere around it. You sell drugs. 
all right people take drugs and some die and some don't die then you go and build rehabilitation center for drug addicts is that charity if you really want to stop the addiction stop the drugs yeah that's how it is you sing songs that promotes prom promote uh, promiscuity that promotes uh, 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 uncontrolled sex, sex, sexual life, you know, that is not based on scriptures. You promote that, and then the girls get pregnant, and then and then you build a charity to service girls that are getting pregnant. Stop singing the song. Change the song. Change the content of the song, and then you change the getting pregnant, uh, pre getting pregnant, running them crazy, making them to do crazy things. You understand? Change the song. If you change the song, you change the story. And then you don't need to build a center to be helping uh, um, 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 uh, teen, teen, teenage mothers or teenage uh, pregnancy and blah, 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 and promoting abortion and all that rubbish. Change the song. So, and then they'll present the whole, oh, they, they, are, they are loving people, they love humanity, they do charity, they, 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 they're rubbish. Rubbish. Complete rubbish. You don't want her to get pregnant, sing the right song into their heads. They follow you. They are your fans. You have great influence over them. Stop wearing rubbish too. Stop wearing rubbish. That's why they are wearing rubbish. That's why they are getting raped. You say, oh, but the guys should behave. They say, yes, we know the guys should behave. But, but the guys that are singing for the guys too, they are also singing rubbish into their head now. And then they all go and set up charity nonsense. And they will say, oh, they are loving humanity. They are not loving anything. If they want to really love humanity, they should change the content of the songs. They should, change, they should change the content of the songs. They should change the content of the songs. That's what they should do. Hallelujah. Glory to God. True riches. That's what God wants us to have. Prosperity produced by covenant blessing works differently. It recognizes hard work and uses wisdom, but responds only to faith in the finished work of Christ. This faith draws the power of God that makes rich and draws wealth. There is power to get well. Power that draws and gather prosperity, opportunities, and open doors. Power that flows into situations that makes things so happen. There is two riches. Let us pray. Pray and say, Father, I receive that which you have given me in Christ. The blessing of Abraham. And Lord Almighty, I release, I activate into operation in all that I do the blessing of Abraham and by this blessing I begin to get results that are based on your mercy on your power on your strength in the name of Jesus Join Pastor Paul Alashore every Sunday, 9 a.m., at Elohim's Tabernacle International, Lecky.